This film is dark. So Sicario is directed by Denis Villeneuve, uh, stars Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, Josh Brolin and a bunch of other people and is being held by Roger Deakins, one of the best cinematographers working today. Emily Blunt is the character, like the audience sees through Emily Blunt's eyes when she's seeing something disgusting that makes her sick to the stomach. Like, you know, we see that through Emily Blunt's eyes. What this film's about is Emily Blunt is an FBI agent who's come across something pretty big in her line of work and then she's been asked to join this special task force which have been asked to perform special tasks in Mexico trying to sort out the drug cartel and then they start doing missions and things and then the lines between right and wrong <laughs> get very wobbly. <laughs> but let me put it this way, in our modern times, films have this trend to go very dark, very gritty, very realistic. This film takes that trend, goes even darker, even grittier, with an even more realistic sense to it all, and it's awesome. Did I say more dark? Okay, I did, okay. Scario is an excellent film, mostly due to its acting performances, directing, and its cinematography. So let's talk about the acting. Emily Blunt and Benicio Del Toro are both excellent, probably deserve Os Oscar nominations, as many people have already been saying. I honestly think that everyone brings their A-game in this film in terms of performances. Josh Brolin's really good. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya, I think, isn't given much credit in this film. Like, he was really good. Like, he plays Emily Blunt's sort of friend. You know, like when she's like having trouble with what she's doing in this task force, she turns to him and then he helps her out as well. So Denis Villeneuve directed Prisoners in 2013, which was one of the better films of that year. Uh, I haven't seen the film Enemy, but I want to. And he deals with morality a lot in this film. He blurs the lines between good and bad a lot. And yeah, he directs this film excellently. Uh, no spoilers in this review, but there is a scene on a bridge and it has like Sergio Leone standards of tension and suspense. It's some of the best tension in cinema in recent years, honestly, it's... Whew, blew my mind. And the direction was also excellent in terms of showing these horrible, disgusting things, but then also in not showing them. There's a scene where Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro are interrogating a suspect, and it essentially turns into torture, however, we don't see it. We don't see what goes on in that torture room, but I felt like I knew every single detail of what went on in that room because of things that we were shown, things that the camera did show us. That's some really good direction when you can say so much by showing so little. That's what I really want to talk about, Roger Deakins at Cinematographer. Yeah, I mean, Roger Deakins, if you don't know who this guy is, he's excellent. He's one of the best cinematographers working today. Uh, Skyfall. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption, pretty much every film directed by the Coen brothers. This guy's IMDb list is crazy good. <laughs> what he does best in this film, and I already knew this going into it, the nighttime scenes are actually dark. Like, you know, sometimes in a film, whether the scenes at nighttime, uh, all the actors' faces are really well lit, and you know, it can sometimes, you know, in your head, you know that something's not quite right, but you never know quite what it is. And the nighttime scenes are great, but what I didn't know going in was how much that was an important theme to the film, like the darkness and how the cinematography symbolises the story-driven darkness in the film. It's all about darkness. I'll I'll say darkness as little as I can, honestly. <laughs> uh, Josh Brolin and Benicio's characters leave Emily Blunt in the dark. Don't tell her what's really going on, like, just some dark stuff happens in this film is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, and that leads me to the biggest problem with the film, which is that it's a little bit too dark. Like, there's zero percent happiness in this film. There is no hope. There, there, there isn't a single moment where you're like, oh, that, that's really nice. It's very similar to Seven in that respect. Like, Seven, you know, has this great darkness, and at the, at the the by the end of the film, you're just like, oh, after this film, I felt like physically dirty, like, and that's great. Like, I, I love it when a film can like affect me that way. But uh, yeah, uh, this isn't a fun time film 
for your information. Uh, my other problems with the film are, are, are nitpicks really, they're not that big of a deal. Yeah, so they use Call of Duty Night Vision in a scene, and like, it just reminded me of Call of Duty and took me out of the film a little bit. Like, looking back on it, I can see why that scene was put in the film, but when the rest of the film is shot and lit so excellently by the Deacons, like that night vision scene just really sticks out like a sore thumb from the rest of the film. Uh, also, again, no spoilers, but in the finale of this film, it sort of goes with Benicio Del Toro, and it's sort of his story, and we've been going through this entire film through Emily Blunt's eyes, you know, it's essentially been her journey throughout the film, and in the finale she's nowhere to be seen, and, like, it doesn't really affect the film badly, but it, it just felt a little odd that the character that we've been with this entire time doesn't become that important in the end. To finish off, this film is great and you should definitely check it out if you like dark crime thrillers, but um, you know, it's just, it's not a fun popcorn film. Uh, I'm going to give this film four stars and I'm going to say dark, gritty, suspenseful, dark, I don't really take my ratings that seriously. If you've seen Sicario, please let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching and see you later. I just had to do a massive retake of almost my entire video because I left my laptop on. Which is one of the better films of that year in my thing. In my thing. <laughs> there is no hope. That there, there, there isn't a single moment where you're like, oh that, that's really nice. That's nice when he murders those children. Uh, no, spoilers.